back to Heartland afternoon. It is National Alpaca Day, and while many people are actually celebrating, other people are researching. Take a listen. London, how are you? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm awesome. What are we doing here today? Today we are um, feeding the alpacas, and right now um, we're just volunteering and selling some feed. What? Why, why are you out here? So I'm a member of the pre-veterinary club at SIU, and I've mostly worked with only small animals. I'm from St. Louis, so there's not a lot of alpacas where I live. <laughs> so um, I was like, I really want some experience with large animals, and I came out here, and we plan to be coming back in a couple of months to give some shots and look at their fecal samples and do some fun stuff. So this is science research yes. for you. Yes, yes, correct, yeah. Whenever you get to come out here and like see the animals firsthand, obviously these are pretty, pretty cool yes. animals. Yeah, they're awesome. But being able to see them, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel really excited. Like I woke up this morning and yesterday morning and I was like, I am so happy to be alive today. Like it was just <laughs> like, I just walked up here and I was like, this is so cool. Like you just don't get to see alpacas a lot. <laughs> What's something you think people should know about, you know, the research that you guys do? Um... I would say um, one thing the owner Judy told me was that they had the third um, carcinoma case in alpacas altogether here. So there's not a lot of um, cancer cases in alpacas and the fact that they had the third ultimate case here is pretty interesting. Um, I think it, it's very rare and they see a lot of firsthand medical um, like discoveries I guess in alpacas here.